Timo Kalen. This time he's playing with um what's this guy? Ah, Sejuani, yeah. Long time no see. Sejuani. It should be very interesting. He's gonna plan on using the puff caps to do damage so he can level Sejuani. So Sejuani can constantly force my force by my board. Which is a pretty decent combo, but he needs to be luck very lucky on his puff caps to actually go for it. <laughs> he's also running on board, okay. I think he should attack though, because if he attacked, I wouldn't uh, block with my own hook there, actually, because I wanted to save my own lock for Timo, right? So. <laughs> um, LeBlanc here. It's not too shabby, it's a 4 5, why not? <laughs> it's just passing with 5 mana, not even developing a paddler here. Pretty sad. Ooh, that's nice. Sadly, it doesn't really do a lot. It does draw one card, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, do I want to pass on Oh, he's also running Weapon Masters? Okay. More of a mid range deck, huh? Should I? Probably not a good idea, though. Yeah, I should probably just pass here. I am wasting 4 mana, though, which is kind of sad, but I can't really stop it anyway. Um, plus 3, plus 3. Another plus 1, plus 1. Okay. Oh, that's kind of scary. And stupid. Holy crap. Okay. Guess I block with Dogo here. I <laughs> Was not expecting that, that's for sure. Could have frostbite the there. Don't think it was worth it though. Meh. Should probably just play this here. So I can your prop reputation as well. This is a oh, not too shabby. It's fine, play you. Oh wait, there's a 5 eye? Oh yeah, because I got buffed by Omaha, that's why. I guess I could attack with Doggo here. I do have Sky Splitter. Yeah, okay. Also, gives, giving the deck plus one plus one is that good in this matchup anyway. The stats here really matters. Let's see whether or not he plans on using his own Sky Splitter here. Ex of Iron. Okay, really good actually. So I was at 2 health. I do have a Strike Spell coming in. But um, I am worried about Force Bites though, the saying. But this does have 2 health, so this is actually really good here. This is 1 mana for spider hole 10 2. Another buff, okay. Sure. So I always just do this first of all and block like this. This will help me prop reputation as well, by the way, yeah. So let's see whether or not he plans on using Battle Fury, maybe. He does have 10 mana, he will go for it if he actually runs a card. Does it? Okay. Definitely just playing you. It's a it's a 7 3, why not? It's not the worst thing to go. And he can't paint off, remember. He's a pure double deck, he always has. Oh. Well, I was not expecting that. I, I was more or less expecting a Mystic Shot here. He's actually dealing a lot of damage though, quite decent. Good, sure, fast. Don't really care. You just waste the 2 mana, do nothing, bro. 2 out of 5. All my units are slowly gonna get bigger, by the way. Like, Ash is ginormous. I'm playing Ash here, right? Yeah, always. That's a sound five. Another shock blast. Okay. Well, I'm probably just attacking here. It's probably just leave at this point. Even if he pings, pings, he blocks here five. That's a, no way. I have. He might try to double mystic shot here. Yeah, he does. But I have sky spitter, so GG. Good try, man. Good try. Yeah, GG. Man, like <laughs> all of these is got I I played two Omen Hawks, two Doggos, and two of the um Vanguard, right? My deck was just like plus six plus six. Not the whole deck, but you get what I mean, right? Oh my god, that was glorious. GG. Oh, another one. This time without Sejuani. Let's see how you perform. That guy did horribly. He was playing a pretty uh different and wacky game plan, which I can respect, but he basically accomplished nothing there. Because he was trying to to go too hard on the Sejuani game plan, in my opinion, running shock blast and whatever. This is not that bad, but it can't block. The blank is even worse technically because of Mystic Shot. Maybe I should try the Mulligan and try to use Snow Dog to buff it and draw into it. Hmm. Nah, I think it's too good to keep LeBlanc because on turn three I'll be attacking as well. Okay, this is a pretty pretty awesome curve. That's nothing. Oh my god. Why, why am I so good? I keep on drawing like double Omen Hawk. I'm just that good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care, bro. Block, I dare you. He might try to attack Kimo as Casper to do it. 
Ash. Ooh, la la, this hand is glorious. Hmm, is it over committing by playing LeBlanc here though? I do have, I don't have, I don't have the mana to pull the legs of iron though, sadly. I think I just attack here, right? He has 5 mana. It's all kind of obvious that he's gonna have a frostbite or like a ping, right? So it's probably not a good idea to play LeBlanc in general. Also, this is 3 free damage because he's gonna play Kaelin, right? Yeah. On the trail. Another on one. The trail. Out of My deck is like plus 3, plus 3 now. I'll play like a, a, a ginormous LeBlanc. That's a uh, <laughs> 8 9 on turn 5. Decent. Sure. I'll play Ash here. For mana, bro. Arrow. You can't aftershock that. You need to double not. ping. You just miss the shot. Fine. Pass. Do I just play the 8 9? <laughs> Maybe I top deck something better actually. What if? Nah, okay. Yeah, I definitely just play the A9 here. Why not? Plus, plus one again. <laughs> this deck is. It's just. It's so basic, but it's so funny. It it doesn't actually. Oh, really? Okay, I'm gonna like Zephyr here though. It's so funny. It's kind of like Bard, but you need to go crazy with Bard, right? This is just very easy, right? Like, you just get plus one, plus one. Like, come on. Isn't that just amazing? Yeah. I mean, Ash will die here though, which is kind of sad. But if he actually uses Caitlyn to block Ash, I'm thinking I'm fine here, right? That's pretty a weak turn if he decides to actually block Caitlyn, uh, Ash here, but... I need to apply pressure anyway. Yeah, uh, you know what? If he's actually using Caitlyn to block Ash, go for it. This is like 10 damage over here. Okay, he's not. That's what I'm talking about, like, there's no way. There's no way he's actually <laughs> taking 10 damage here. He's going to run a 6 health here. Um, 6 flash bombs is fine. Again, sure. Two almost Ox over here gonna be chilling, and I do have strikes back and frostbites as well. That's a six nine doggo. No, bro, what the flip? He snipes off the best unit, literally. That's actually crazy. Lock. Let's force you away, a frostbite. Oh, he's just letting Halen. Okay. It's a two cost six seven, by the way. Sure. LeBlanc is like the LeBlanc is smaller than the snow dog. That's hilarious. You don't see that every day. Give me the draw card. Ashes. Don't kill okay. Damage the LeBlanc there, but to be worse. It's a plus three plus three, right? A plus two plus three. Should I go for strike? Probably not. I don't think it'll accomplish anything. Your CD frostbite here, that's really annoying. Yeah, I'll just go for this. Um sure. Goes a six health. Congrats. But only has three attack. That's fine. Oh wait, crap, I misplayed. I actually put a Alex of Iron. Gonna block the Omen Hawks here, huh? Yeah. I actually misplayed by a bit here. Yeah. By not putting LeBlanc at the last, because if uh you and you and Ash at actually attack first, LeBlanc would go to 6 attack, and because she would flip right, then she would actually kill off the Starlight Seer here. So this was a misplay by my part, my positioning. I guess I was just too happy with the, the combo that I was having here. I will protect um, LeBlanc here though because of the mirror image. It's just too good, right? To pass on. Yeah, just do this. If I use Ash to Frostbite after Strike, giving him too much value to Frostbite, right? Because he could Frostbite to prevent it. And then, as well as what's kind of, um, as well as stop the sound damage phase. If I do this, it's fine that he Frostbites the 8 6 here, which I don't care. Good luck, man. Like, that's cute. With the starlights here, pretty good combo actually. Really going all in, huh? I am everywhere. I am everyone. One cause mirror image. I can just copy LeBlanc and Ash here. As well as the hard guard as well, just for even more healing. I don't know, he uh, plus one plus one. Ooh, rally, nice. I can just win the game here. Don't think there's anything he'll do here that would help him win. That's oh nine nine, not too shabby. Practice, as they say, makes perfect. Sadly, I don't really care though because he's only dealing two damage right now. Yeah. Unless you somehow gotten like a. Overwhelm card, which does not exist by the way, he's playing in Field of Barrier, so this is pretty much GG. Pew Pong. Good game.
You tried your best. That was actually really impressive that you didn't start IC buffed up the Kaelin there. But in the end, it did not matter because you only buffed up one unit. I buffed up all of my units. So GG. Good game. Another? How many trap decks have I been facing this game? That's a lot. It's like the fifth one, right? Yeah. Yeah, Fumo. This hand is not that good. It's Yeah, this is not that good. Oh my god, this hand is even worse, actually. Mm. Where's my Omen Hawks? Show up. Probably not protecting that. Remember me. Sure. I will unite the I should. Nah, there's no way I block. If I block, he missed the shots. I do have a laser band, but again, that's probably not good enough. One step ahead. I'd rather just play it safe. We fight for one frail yard. Prepare for sure. anything. Timo, that is not regulation equipment. Okay, I guess it makes sense. He's stopping me from doing reputation stuff. Oh, okay. He's giving this kind of deck draw. I don't think that's pretty a good idea, my good sir. Oh, okay. That's a free frostbite. Scoping the area. The time is right. Strike now. I guess I'm not forced to use this guy's Peter. It is a pretty sad burn though, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Buff again. Wasting 6 mana? Don't mind if I do. Ash again. Can I stop drawing the champion please? Okay. Um, If I attack here, I can actually rally. Yep, let's go. Let's rally. Manas? I can bing ball. Actually, Sky Splitter might be better. Yeah. Since I'm gonna be rallying anyway, it's 6 mana, right? Sky Splitter, I should just use all my mana here. And if he tries to respond with something, and I guess I'm not rallying, I can just rally next turn as well and develop more units like the Snow Dog and the Fall Drop to allow me to draw into more cards. Okay. He's not killing. Oh. Huh? What? It's not killing Ash here though. Rally 3 out of 5, I don't win. Sure. But this is still a pretty good rally. No, I'm not gonna pass on this. You could try to ping off Ash, which is sad, but like, this is still a lot of damage here. Yeah. A bit sad, but could be worse. Times over. Manners? Candle scouts are never afraid. He really wants me to draw. He really wants to draw as well. How many puff cap do I have? I have zero puff cap. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> draw all the cards, man. I don't really care. I only have flash bombs, which is not really that threatening anyway, since all my units have fire health. That's a pretty big unit. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. I can actually draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I, draw, I can draw 5 cards. I can actually draw all my flash bombs here. Okay. Sure, man. Uh, shuffle that 5 after you. I think you really need to do that. That's a 7, 3. You can ping off with like a Mystic Shot. You need to use like Aftershock. Ooh. Planting even more. Okay. Oh, wait. Now drawing actually like a bad idea though, actually. <laughs> because I have like. 9 flash bomb. You know what? I don't care. I have so many health, man. I don't care. 
Rally, amazing. Dragon, amazing. LeBlanc, amazing. Oh my god, the, the game lags for how many flash bombs I drew there. Okay, so... It killed off one of my big units, which is, you know, fine. I have more units to play anyway. I have more rally as well, by the way. And why is this number 2 still here? Do What is this? It's actually a new bug I haven't seen. Okay. Pass. I have... Two more flash bombs only, sure. Actually, one more flash bomb. So I'm definitely playing LeBlanc here. If I can actually prop LeBlanc to flip, I can just mirror image uh, the rally card and just go rally infinitely. At this point, it's a really good game. There's nothing he could do. All my units are so big because of the double hard guard there, giving all my units plus two plus two. Sure. Yep, two mana mirror image equals to a two mana rally card. So he actually needs to stop LeBlanc from leveling or skew the Fi Fi here. If he doesn't kill the Fi Fi, yeah, he can do that. I can just copy it and win the game. But he doesn't know that I have a second copy of it, bro. He doesn't know. Frostbite. Guess I'm just doing. Oh, that's smart. But the Radicast still survives here, then I get the. Yeah, he needs to do this. Then Ash gets a survive here. So he needs to actually use. Yeah, chop up the block here. Oh. But that's not really productive. So you lose. Yep, GG. Good game, my good sir. This was fun. That's a 10 6. Yeah, this was uh, amazing. I had a fun time, man. For That's cute. That, that team was cute. Congrats. Yep, GG. So I can rally. I can actually rally infinitely, right? Yeah, because I can just uh, do 15 damage constantly and just give me it even more mirror, mirror image. So, good game. Ooh, dear. Galio? Oh, I can respect this. I tried this out a few days ago, and I was just losing to the better version, which was AKA <clears throat> Galleon uh, of the Dragons. So yeah, at least he's playing funny, haha. So I can respect that. Also, this is gonna be again a pretty ma hard matchup. Frostbite doesn't do very well against formidable units because I mean they don't really care whether or not their attack goes to zero. Not that bad of a hand though. Like I have a lot of early game units. I can kill off like the Ram Sculpture or the Curses unit. He might actually run the car because that car is so annoying. Like two four ones, uh two five ones in turn three, he can't really do a lot because he's not even a ping deck anyway, right? Yeah, this is really good actually. Not too shabby. Like that <laughs> ten damage on turn three. Wow. Am I on aggro deck now? Imagine if I actually run Darius here. <laughs> he just instant flips here. That'd be great. He might have the... Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, probably always just playing Ash here, yeah. If he kills so often, be my guess. Go for it. He is, okay. Must be like the... Yeah, gender must do so buff it the 2 health, so it technically survives. Sure. Bonk. Honestly, I'm fine with this. It's not really doing a lot, in my opinion. You can attack for the 2 damage, sure, go for it. Next turn, I'll open attack. Actually, no. Should I? I should probably draw first, right? Or should I play Ash? I don't think Ash is the correct play, though. I mean, technically it is because he could he might play Udia turn five, so it's not too bad. He technically denies a whole Udia turn because I could just frost by Udia here. This also leads to damage. He needs to yeah develop a unit. Frost by. I guess I'll just double pull here, right? Yeah. If I don't, then the obviously he's gonna block Ash here. Duh. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, and I'll just push for the 5 free damage here. That will go down to 3 health. Uh, 5 Spirit could just ping that off. Strike Spirit could also clear that off anyway. I have pretty good answers for next turn. It takes uh, turn 6, right? Yeah. I have op. Ooh, it's not that bad as well. Just more drone. I can play this into this. That's fine. Yeah, I'm probably just always just pinging this. So this will go to 1 health. It's a 1-1 one -one basically. Who cares? No one. 
Really? Okay. Uh, no. I could save. Why not? Um, pass. Let's play you. Play this. Draw two cards. Develop a whiteboard. He could play. Oh, he does play uh, Udia here. Okay. Play you. Draw two. Not to share. Oh, rally card for Nexon as well. Yeah. It's pretty much a good game here. Yeah. He only has two units, I have three blockers, even if he gentleman who has something good enough. Because Ahem strikes down the kill um who did, right? The so bye bye, over. GG. Now we rebuild. Oh the ultimate deck. Also, this is actually really bad as well, because I can't really force by formidable units. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh LeBanc seems fine. I should probably look at the rest though. Need to find like some form for the game. Sadly I do not get it. Hey, at least I have a 2 drop. Yeah, at least I have a 2 drop. Mm, don't have brawling, please. Bloody business. Okay, he doesn't have brawling. Might actually curse me though, which is going to be a bit annoying. But since I don't really have any spells anyway, other than bloody business, then go for it. Yeah, I thought he would go for that. But in my opinion, if he wanted to go for this, he should probably just um, on turn 2 just play it, right? Because like, what am I going to respond to that, right? In a LeBlanc Ash deck, not a lot of things that could actually respond to that. So he should probably just, you know, just went for the spell here and then attack for 4 damage. Because I wasn't going to use my dog or the block there. Most likely, get a case. That's fine. Then I should, yeah, attack here seems fine. If you use this to block the doggo, then this will go to the hell. And next turn, I can just use a spell into Lakes of Iron to protect the Blanc as a blocker as well. And try to level her. Drop this top. Keep getting all my big cards, but I don't really need them just yet. Mm -hmm. Annoying. I guess I should just play Ash here. Yeah. I'm gonna use Ash to block the Tutu here, and if he attacks, I'm gonna use the Blanc to block this. Yeah. Actually, maybe I should just use Ash to block the 5 fight, maybe. Because Ash is actually not that useful here. He said, right, I do, let, do I let the Blanc die or Ash? I think I let uh, Ash die, though. Ash is not gonna help me win the game. The Blanc is because of the mirror image. Ash is not gonna frostbite anything because he has formidable units as well. Okay, I think keeping the Blanc alive is better than keeping Ash alive then. Hmm, five speed is good. Probably if he has six mana, he could strike. Actually, no, I don't think it's. I think I should just play this. Yeah, if he actually strikes me down, there's no way because if he use like a gentle with two, then go for it. No one Again, closest, no sure. No one. Let's do this. Good thing I'm more of a unit based deck, so even if he closes me, it's not really a big deal. I I I mean I can't really use mirror image, but okay, that's pretty much it. Whisper truth into lies. The Blanc gets the flip here, so that's really good as well. Because, like, normally on turn 6, they always have Fire Splitter and he's gonna eat, like, King of the Blanc. But since the Blanc goes to 3 health now, he can't really do it, so he can't clear up a unit. I am going to do my own Fire Splitter though, King of this unit. It's really stupid annoying. As well as killing a unit, so why not? 9. Oh, really? But I can't go for that now. Maybe because he has the plus 1 plus 1, so 3 3 now. Challenger? Okay. Um, resolve here, right? Yeah. I guess I can actually use a spell here though. Yeah. I'll use this and I'll pass. I want to have a mana for bloody business and the legs of iron here. He's gonna, yeah, pull a blank. I think he always pulls a 6 4 as well, right? Oh, okay. Really? Missing on the buff then. Rally here is really good. Um, I think I, yeah, go for this. He can't block any of these units for now. Yeah, he doesn't make good trades. This has 4 health here. Yeah, just bonk bonk, get uh, 1 mana mirror image, yep, I play this, into mirror image, and I get double rally, sure, maybe he could, I don't, I don't really care, doesn't necessarily stop it because I can actually still play it, and he needs to use this block, oh really, you gotta be kidding me, well I can't use it now, hmm, yeah I can't really use it now, I should probably see you just play this curse, right? Yeah. 
I guess I can go for the next turn. Yeah. Next turn he maybe he tries to develop a big unit like Knight of the Fox again or Galio. I can just play Mirror Image to copy this because he can't heal it now. It has it has six health and all of his units only has like three attacks, so mm -hmm. I'm just slowly windling his units down. Bonk, bonk. Yep. Oh wow. Oh, those two mana. And this could change it to three mana. That's hilarious. That's not that bad. Like I can play mirror image and still have five more mana. Rolling is fine. Do I care? No, not really. I should probably just do this now, right? Or he just kills it off or whatever. Yeah. Or what a recall is it? It'd be even worse actually. I just do this. It's a free gold block as well, by the way, because uh, it's a femoral 6 3. Why not? And by the way, keep in mind that these units have 3 health, not 2 health, so again, his 5 splitters are useless here. You can't really ping them off. Hmm, right, okay, that's fine. It's a pretty big turn. Um, I guess I should attack here, right? What a treat. Get another mirror image. Force him to block this, but this has 3 health, right? He's gonna use Brawling or the tree for the block there so he can stop my endless rallies. Yeah, I think this is safe, right? I didn't think this is worth. And then I can just respawn the flicks of iron and then go for another mirror image. Yeah. And he can't really block and yeah, he can't uh, afford to take this from the unit's damage as well. Yeah, he needs to block and block here. Oh he's blocking everything here? Okay. And I always respond to this and pass and then go mirror image and win the game. GG. He either needs to kill oh LeBlanc or the rally, but if he doesn't then it's GG. I get to do it all over again. Bro, how many how many curses does one man have? That's smart though, that's pretty big brain. He's cursing me so I can't go for it now. But I think you're dead next turn. I don't think there's anything you can do to survive. Yeah, next turn. GG man. Honestly, I, I thought I had a hard matchup against this because of the frostbites, but I guess just you know not doing frostbite stuff just wins the game because I'm doing even stronger stuff like rallying, just get leveling the blanc, getting mirror image as well. So GG. Also does have five split of the ping of the blanc. Ooh, chemo. I think I should be fine. Traps is normally not really that hard of a matchup for the blanc ash deck, and I do have open hot one, so yeah. Mm, pretty bad hand, but Omahawk turn 1 is honestly just winning the game, man. Because he most likely gonna play Timo turn 1, and this Omen turn 1 just denies the whole team attack, so yeah, this is really good. The rest, though, eh, kinda poo poo, but at least I have Omahawk turn 1, so could be worse. He might even trade. If he has a second team, yeah, he's okay. He definitely has a second team, then. Top deck, Snow Dog here would be great. Another open hawk. Um pass. I'm probably not playing it. If I play it, he dies to six shots. So I should probably just Oh. Yeah, I guess I'll play it now. Oh wait, I oh, crap, I missed out on attack, but nah, I didn't really want to attack. Oh my god, quick open hawk. <laughs> but this is hilarious where you don't see this every day. Definitely worth it, right? Yeah, definitely. Yes, zero mana, he can't respond to this. <laughs> That's hilarious seeing a bird just snipes off a Kaelin there. Uh, yeah, definitely worth it. I mean, I'm not gonna play Strike Spells here. I'm gonna play you and I'm gonna play Sky Spell here. That is definitely worth He's gonna, yeah, block. I, there's no way he's taking a sandwich damage to the face, bro. Playing it really slow. I mean, if you, you go bad, you go have Fatler. You go have Fatler. So, don't snipe off anything, please. Okay. I mean, they died of Pythos now, but it could be worse. <laughs> Mystic Shot. <laughs> another Sky Splitter. So he needs another Mystic Shot here. Oh, he, oh that's not that's not it. He needs like a Pyth- No way, Pythos not enough. He needs to do two damage, yeah. Doggo dies here now. Let's play this. This is 5, 7, 12. It's actually not lethal, not lethal. Poison dart, well that's annoying. Wait, who run this card? He's just generically running poison dart, I guess. Okay. That's really impressive. I don't run poison dart, I mean I think it's a good card, but it's not that good. Can I play Ash here? Yeah, I'll play Doggo first though, because Ash dies to double missing shot. Yeah, he plays like Chop up here. Ash is just gonna deny it. 
really good. Thank God I played a dog here, right? Because if I play Ash, he could have potentially ping it off with, like, again, two Mystic Shots or whatever, kill it. Now, basically, he played a 0 mana, 0 4. I mean, a 4 mana, 0 4. Because he can be blocked. I uh, can be a good blocker. Today we fight as one. 19 damage face. He's most likely gonna block Ash here, I think. To deny the most damage. Either that or he's gonna block the Snow Dog or Omen Hawk. So he could uh, let Chubb up survive here. But I think at this point, he hasn't really been shuffling a lot of puff cap. I think he should be GG. Like, what he could he do to come back from this game? Maybe Corina to plan 5 fla uh, flash bombs and try the ping of my units, but I don't think he can. Like, my units are pretty tanky. He can't really do a lot. Hmm, yep, I guess he left. Let's be honest, there's like zero chance he comes back here. Like, having triple Omen Honk is so deadly against this kind of deck because he relies on Teemo, right? So Teemo is basically useless. He play Kaelin turn 3, but this Omen Hawk becomes a 3-3 three, three and scares with the kill it off. So another win condition gone. And he played the Turbo Chop Up and no Petalus as well, so... And even if he did play Pet the Life Pro, he can't deal with my board state. He, he would be shuffling Puff Caps, but he wouldn't be dealing with my board, and he would just lose here. So I, I'm pretty sure he just left here at this point. Let's end this man, shall we? Bye bye, KFC. You were truly delicious. Yep, good game. If he was the Frostbite version, maybe he had a chance by frostbiting my, frostbiting my units, but he's Panda City, so GG.